there is a debate amongst different people who work in, in grief and bereavement about whether or not people need or should, because there can be a distinction there between need or should, see a deceased individual. I think a lot of people do want to see the deceased individual just so they, one, know that it is the person, although I think actually that in many instances can simply function as a rationalization to say, I want to look at the body for any number of reasons, but I'll use this reason, i.e. I want to make sure it is the person to actually look at the body. But that is useful. If you talk to funeral doctors, they'll say one of the reasons we have the family look at the body or have a viewing, even if it's very quick, and I mean a matter of under a minute in some instances, it is to make sure that the body in the coffin is the person that the funeral is for. As for other reasons people want to see the body, I do think there are people who do want to see the person dead. And I think they want to see the person, I think they want to touch the person, whether it's the hand or even sometimes the face, something like that. But they, they want to know that that person is dead, and so I think seeing the dead body for them is part of the, but the process or the realization or the understanding that the individual is, is no, longer, no longer alive. But in general, I think it's a very personal, individualized situation. I, from a very low age, became both kind of aware of this idea of death, but also the dead body, but also this idea that the, the dead body looked like a normal person, but was dead, and that was through the, you know, the embalming and cosmetic process. 